Hey everybody, Davey Natoga here. Uh, just chilling out in Tartarus for the first time ever, I think. Actually, I think this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever actually come to Tartarus with the sole objective of just leveling up and not trying to do all sorts of quests or get some other persona or anything like that. It's just me kind of dicking around with my team. Which is kind of a, a slight change of pace. I don't think I, I think the last time I even came close to doing this was like way back when it was only the three of us in the group, me, Junpei, and Yukari. And even then, I still had like a quest or two of that to do because you know we were just we were all lasting only like ten fights on two floors and having to like oh now we gotta like 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 wow I need to listen to myself sometimes. Ugh. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. No, I lost my train of thought. Uh, it's just, you know, even way back when I was trying to grind up their stamina to last enough fights, which I think was just trying to, kind of tied to leveling, fighting guys at my strength and having to overcome them and so on. Even then, because when I tried, like, leveling up back then, A, I still had a quest to do, and B, I, it didn't really work. I was just far too outclassed, and I was getting shit for XP. It was a pittance. And I didn't bother doing it, and I haven't bothered doing it now until, like, recently. And I'm, I'm getting better experience points. I mean, it's still not very much, but it, it's enough, I guess, for a couple level ups before everybody starts getting tired, and then we have to leave. Uh, and I don't know something about grinding... And it's funny, because, like, I started playing Final Fantasy XII, like, halfway through the point where I'm at now, about halfway through where I am in Persona 3, you know, after a couple months into it, and only, you know, 30 episodes in. God, remember those days? All two months ago? And, uh, it's funny, because I got stuck in the exact same spot that I did before, uh, where I was just getting so tired of the fighting system and stuff and having to grind and pace around and stuff and the grinding in that game was just a miserable experience I noticed and it was just the point where I just would have to grind for a couple hours straight in order to get my guys strong enough to go through the dungeon that I'm in and it's like the second or third time where I played Final Fantasy 12 up to that point and gotten stuck there because I don't want to do all the grinding because it's just it's so frustrating in that game and it's funny because in Persona, the grind wasn't actually that bad. I mean, trying to do the missions, that was a fucking pain in the ass. Three and a half hours just wasted out the window. Well, actually, it was more like two hours, because the other hour and a half was me actually doing, like, you know, going through levels, wars, and doing other missions, and so on. Anyway, I, I noticed that, like, level grinding, it's not that bad. I mean, like, in Final Fantasy XII, you have the gamut, you can set your guys to fight. And it is easy that way because you don't have to pay attention to what you're doing, you don't have to keep mashing X, you just run around. But that's the problem, is that you have to keep running around. And some of the areas are so big that it sometimes it's hard to find enough enemies that you can easily overcome and still get a decent amount of experience without having to run outside of that area and pass through a couple other levels, areas, sections to get back into that one so that the guys respawn because it's not just infinite grinding like it is in most RPGs where it's just random battle systems. You know, you can just spin the joystick around for an hour and then every time you hear the battle music start to you start matching X or A or B depending on what system you're playing on. Well, no, yeah, 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 because if you're on an SNES, it's B is to go, because A is, well, A is also go, but A is for more special attacks, because it's on the side and not in the bottom, and anyway, another distraction, or, not distraction, side rail, detour, segue, not segue, distraction, ing, that's the word I'm looking for, it's, anyway, it's, it's, in Final Fantasy XII, it's just, you actually kind of have to pay attention in Final Fantasy XII, but it's just as mindless, as most RPG grinding is, so it 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 becomes a it, it it becomes such a chore because you have to still pay attention, like actively pay attention, because it's not like 
the guys will come to you. You have to go to the enemies, and you have to make sure that you're not going to attract too many all at once so they start overcoming you, and even if you have your gambit set up that you guys can auto-heal themselves, whatever. It still is... It's frustrating. Especially when you get to the point where you react to actively battle against the guys that you're at, and they're still overcoming you a little bit, and you have to go back, and you're still having trouble with those guys. It's trying to get to a point where you can have easy management, character, like life management. It's tricky in those games, and that is almost a non-issue in Persona both in the way that the battle system is set up and in the mechanics of the just Tartarus itself. If I'm playing any other RPG and I'm gonna grind for levels, I could grind overnight. I could just sit down, like, it, the, ga the gameplay is, is set up where you can just sit down and just play for eight hours straight if you need to, if you want to, and just keep fighting. Just sitting around, twiddling the joystick till you get into a battle and then just mash an X. And in a way, that's... Like, in most RPGs, you know, it's you don't really have to pay attention, you know, the music will change usually, and it'll, it, when it does, it'll catch your ear, and you'll be like, oh, okay, now it's time to start mashing X. Okay. But it's not like you have to actually, like, keep an eye on the screen and watch to find out where the guys are and have to chase them down and stuff. And in Persona 3, it's funny, because Persona 3 operates like Final Fantasy XII, where I have to actively find the shadows, well, the, the monsters, in order to actively in order to activate the battle. But in Persona, A, the battles can go a lot quicker because it's not like, well, A, I'm involved enough, at least. So, it's not like I'm, it's not like this conflicting, I have to be active, I can't, you know, I don't want to be active, it's boring me, A. Uh, B, uh, yeah, especially since you're active, well, continue on A, especially since you're active enough to try and get the back attack, since you can actually control when you get player advantage and when you get enemy advantage. Well, usually when you get in, when the enemy has the advantage, it's because you lost control, so... Well, yeah, it still involves you having control. Or losing control. Not having control. It's all about what control you can control. Controlling the control of the controller for your advantage in the controlling of the act. Yes. Uh, so, A, it keeps you active, even when you kind of don't want to. Um... B, the fights go a hell of a lot quicker, especially when you have a couple guys, because even on, you know, when you're grinding through, even though you're having to grind through like 12 floors to get to the next elevator, the guys are not that reasonably much stronger than you, unless you've been completely fucking ignoring trying to get to the next sections of Tartarus, and you're just like 10 levels behind, and you never do the old documents, which, why the fuck would you do that? It's so easy to actually get the documents, especially since you can activate a battle, and then run away if you have the player advantage. It's so fucking easy. You will never get attacked if you just always get player advantage and then always run away. Not that you ever would when you try to grind for levels. I mean, not often, unless it's some really strong guy you don't want to deal with. But, if, you know, especially if it's all the same one guy, and you're just like, oh, I'm going to switch to this persona, I'm going to knock them all down, I'm going to beat the shit out of them one turn. One move. I win. Not that hard, as opposed to like, oh, we're just mashing X. Or you, yeah, or you could just hit rush. But if they're pretty weak, you just press triangle and the guys will automatically beat the shit out of the enemies anyway. Uh, C. You can't, uh, grinding is kind of unlimited. In that, you know, you don't have to leave. But really, when you're tired, you might as well leave. You're gonna get critted so often, you're gonna tumble a lot, your spells and attacks aren't gonna do as much damage as far as I've noticed. Once you start getting tired, you're done. And that usually takes, you know, 30-40 battles com to completion, not just getting into, as I proved last time I was in Tartarus. It, trying to grind those levels, it's just, it's... It's... It's limiting. And that's actually refreshing to me in most of the RPGs that I've played. Especially the Japanese RPGs where they're so grindy just because it's, it's, a, it's a way to kind of zone out and meditate and stuff. And that's why one of the reasons why it's so popular and that's why Western RPGs tend to be a lot either you level up faster and grow or you don't level as high. And the increments don't get as drastic between areas. 
And I think, and that's... To me, it is very refreshing to have the game say, okay, you can play for this half hour, hour period, which is what I did. But when you're, but once you're at that hour, you'll have a good enough couple levels. You don't need to keep going. Stop. You're done. You're good. Quit it. You know, just take a rest. Go, go chill out some more. And, you know, that's not a problem. Hey, I can do that. It makes the grinding a little less chorful because I can, and, and it's funny because the Persona, this game at least, Persona 3, the increments like a Western RPG don't seem to be that ginormous like they are in like Final Fantasy 12 where in one area I'm fighting guys that have, you know, 2,000 HP and I can do 300 per hit and then all of a sudden the next area it's four, you know, guys with 4,000 HP and I'm still doing like 350, 400 per hit because I haven't been able to level up that much and their attack, their defense is just that much higher now. So I have to go back to the last area and just grind for three hours because it takes, you know, 45 minutes to get eight level and enough LP license points in order to unlock a good weapon that can actually deal damage to these fuckers. The battle's over. But in here, no it just throws me weapons. I mean, oh my god. Last time when I was running through and trying to find the, the, the stuff for the quest, I already forgot what it was. The, the Shadow Shard. Yeah. It took me forever. I got shit tons of equipment just running through the area for two hours. I got at least... 20 pieces of armor, and at least, I would say like 12 weapons that all had over 100 attack. All my guys are stacked. Holy shit, did you see that sword that I got for Junpei last time? Holy fuck, he went from 102 attack to 180 something off of one rare chest. Wow, I don't get anything like that in any other RPG. What the hell? I will gladly take this in Persona 3. And it's... I, I, I love it. I, I actually enjoy grinding because it's not like I have to grind often enough. It's a lot easier to grind. It keeps me more active when I'm grinding. So the smaller bouts of time are perfect for that. It's not like I have to be completely active for four hours straight. It's... It's... It's nice. And... 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 The majority of the time, whenever I'm done and I'm ready, I can just drop back down to the first floor. I don't have to wander my way through another area to get to a save point so I can warp out. I don't have to save right here and then hope that I have enough potions to trudge through the random battles that I'm going to get into, trying to get back to town. I just say, okay, the area's clear. I got the drop-down elevator right behind me. See you later, shitlords. Bing! No love them. Are left. Wonderful, I love it. Persona 3 is the perfect grinding game for Western audiences. That is the conclusion I've come to. Off of this one time in Tartarus, just straight up flat grinding. It's only solo, no distractions, other side missions, whatever. That's really all I have to say about that. I don't know if I'm ever going to have time or the need to ever just straight grind. Solely level grind in Tartarus again. But if I do, I know you're not going to need to see any of it. I'll just be able to say, hey look, I ground. Like, grinded? Ground? Now, saying ground doesn't sound right. I ground myself. I grind it. <sighs> Whatever. I'm done. I think I'm good. You're never gonna have to hear me praise Persona 3 about its grinding, about the battle's mechanics and how it's set up for grinding and stuff. So next time on Persona, because this is probably the first time in forever we've gotten a next time on Persona, we're gonna do this. You know, instead of just this random cut off thing. So next time in Persona, uh, maybe we'll actually enjoy some of our summer break. Here's hoping. Later, guys.